Okay, so Tom, start by telling me um, where does the story come about? You know, it's always difficult to to kind of recount exactly because you, I probably wrote it two years ago, and there's always little bit of elements. Of, I think one was obviously there was a wrestling element in this story uh, about high school wrestling, which I was a wrestler. I thought it would be kind of fun to depict on screen, so I kept that in the back of my mind. And then I started looking a little bit about where we are as a society and as a community, specifically the small community in New Jersey. Uh, tough times, everyone's trying to make it work, and I felt like a, a lot of good people were maybe making some tough calls and cutting corners and, and you know, not in any malicious way, just an attempt to provide for their family, to provide for their community. And uh, I felt like that would be something that a lot of people could relate to right now. So it was putting those together, throwing in a little bit of humor and uh, some great actors like Paul Giamatti and Amy Ryan and seeing what happened. There's a very interesting issue of the moral dilemma that the main character, the Paul Giamatti character, right had to go through. Right. So how do you actually balance that? Um, is that a question that you pose to the, the audience that you want them to think about? I did. I wanted them to kind of see a decent person um, make a bad choice and, and reconcile. Because I think we've all been in that situation. We've all made bad choices, bad decisions. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of play with that tension. About we kind of rooting for him, but we know what he did wasn't right. But and, and, and a lot of good spins out of his bad decision, right? A lot of good, fun things happen. In fact, the movie becomes a lot more enjoyable. There's a lot of humor and action with the wrestling, and a lot of fun with the family and the relationship between this young man and and um, uh, Jackie, played by Amy Ryan, is a really fun relationship to watch grow. And uh, but ultimately, it was all built on something that wasn't quite right. And um, Again, that I thought created an interesting uh, situation. You wrote the story, so you know how you want the, the screenplay, the story to play out in the movie. But during the filming of the movie, did you come across any surprises that you feel that you have to improvise or change along the way? Uh, during the filming, uh, that's a good question. You know, there was one, there was one moment where Alex Schaefer's character, Kyle, uh, he was saying goodnight to Amy Ryan's character. And, and at one point, he just said her name. Said good night, Jackie, and it cracked me up to see a 16-year-old addressing an adult by a first name. And I thought that makes sense that this kid would do that. So he kept doing it the whole movie, and we just kind of adopted that as part of the routine. And it really works a kind of a comic effect. People like it because he's the kid's not doing it out of disrespect. He's just relating the best he knows how. And there's something about his whole affect which is very entertaining. So I think on on set, I'm always trying to find those moments that you know, maybe we can find a little bit extra, maybe a little bit of humor, a little bit more drama, and just, uh, sometimes you're just informed by what's happening in that moment. And if you have a great crew, uh, which I really did on this movie, tremendously talented New York crew, they allow us that space to kind of discover a little bit more. Tell me about the working relationship with, Al with Alex Schaefer. How do you actually draw this, this performance out of this kid? Yeah, uh, you know, Alex, it was his first film. It was his first time acting. He'd never acted before. Uh, we found him because he was a very good high school wrestler and he just had, was the right type. And uh, the kid stepped up. We put him into some acting training. I worked very closely with him and he, um, you know, we had to stay on him, but he just connected with his character. I think he felt like he understood who Kyle was and, and um, I think his fellow actors were a, a big help in that. You know, I think working, I think him and Paul really hit it off. I think he really obviously admires Paul and so, he learned from Paul. It was just like you learn on a playground. You watch how the older kids do it, and you try to do the same, and he picked it up. You're an actor yourself. Yeah. So there are some, pro but as a director, there are some common themes that you visit right. from, from your past movies, especially your last movie, The Visitor, which I think was great. Um, there's this element of an adopted family and right. a lot of human drama between the characters. What are the kind of projects, that, um, the themes which attract you? Well, I mean, with that specific theme, I, I don't know what it is about that theme. I, people constantly point out, they're like, what is it with you and families and adopted families and the families you make? And maybe it's because my life, personally, even though I came from a, a great, big, happy family, uh, my life is a bit transient. <laughs> you know, I move around a lot. I, I'm constantly recreating my communities, and I think I find uh, there's inherent drama in that, and, and there's always stories that emerge from those connections that you create. And the people who come in your lives, uh, in big and small ways that have an impact. Uh, and specifically, the, the kind of the ordinary that becomes extraordinary is always very interesting to me. That uh, these are everyday people's lives that 
that are impacted in such a way that they become something greater and something m maybe more complex. And I'm not judging it in a good or bad way, just to say it's, it's a more full life. That's always very interesting to me.